Hello, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint Content Editor web part. If you are thinking why this uh, Content Editor web part now, because nowadays we are moving to SharePoint uh, online SPFX development or the framework development. There are two reasons for this. One thing is there is no video on the same topic in this channel. And the other reason is there are a lot of people still working on content editor web part or script editor web part uh, on their projects. So I thought let's make a video. And I'll make sure that once if you are a beginner and want to learn these things, I'll make sure that you will learn a lot of things on this. You will, you will get to know how uh, to use content editor web part in SharePoint. And the demo that I will do here or the examples that we'll do here is uh, we will do on a SharePoint online site, but it will work the same way in SharePoint 2010 or 2013, even 2016 or 2019. So you can use the same way the content editor web part. So basically what are the things we are going, we are going to discuss on this? What is a content editor web part? How uh, to add a content editor web part in, in SharePoint online? And then we will see how we can enable content editor web part or script editor web part in from the SharePoint Online Admin Center. And then I will show you how we can add content directly uh, to the content editor web part. And then we will see how we can add HTML, JavaScript, uh, those code in content editor web part. And then finally I will show you how we can refer external files uh, in content editor web part which will contain your HTML code or your JavaScript code. Now. Uh, so basically what is a content editor web part so if you'll if you'll see in sharepoint uh, microsoft provides this content editor web part so that we can add text or tables images um, uh, videos or javascript or html in into the page so basically this is a web part where you can format or you can add rich text into the sharepoint page now imagine let's say your hr people will say okay we want some content so maybe the content is static content where uh, they want to display some information on that maybe there will be some images some uh, formatted uh, text so you can use a content editor web part easily to display those information and also you can use the script editor web part i have a separate video i have added that so i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at this now let me show you first of all how we will open a SharePoint site and then we will see how we can add the content editor web part. And also while you will adding it and we will use it you will, be, you will get to know exactly the work of a content editor web part. Now if you will see here this is a SharePoint uh, site so uh, classic SharePoint site and uh, I will open a web part page. So basically if, if, you, if you have not created a web part page you can go to the pages then uh, you can go to view all pages basically you can go to the site, site pages library and you can see here I have a test web part. So this is the web part and here we will see how we can add a content editor web part. So go to the page tab and then uh, edit page. So once you click on edit page your page will open in edit mode. And here you can see you can use this add a web part uh, link to add web part to this page. So click on add a web part and it will show you the web part categories. And on this if you will see here now media and content. So you can see here on this category there is a content editor web part is available and then click on add. By any chance if you do not see this thing. Um, this content editor web part or script editor web part in SharePoint site, then there might have been two reasons for this. One is if you are using modern experience, then you will not see this because you cannot you inject any JavaScript code by using content editor web part or script editor. And the other reason might be that you have to enable it. So how we can enable it? You can enable it from the SharePoint online admin center. Now for go to the admin center. So basically you can go to the SharePoint admin center if you uh, you can directly put hyphen admin here and you can go to the page else you can go to the admin center here this is the Microsoft 365 or Office 365 admin center from here uh, you can click on show all then down you can see SharePoint so once you click on SharePoint uh, from this this is the SharePoint admin center and here we can enable it. So basically if you will see here there is a settings this might be different for uh, your tenant or because these options you have to see uh, how it is in your uh, tenant and I will tell you the exact URL you can also type the exact URL and enable that option then if you will see here on this settings page there is a classic site settings page click on that and then you can see here tenant settings dot page is opening here you can also directly uh, use this url so i'll put the link in the uh, description so you can you can directly also visit over here 
Now, if you'll scroll down, then you will see here uh, there is a section called as custom script and you have to enable both these options so allow user to run custom script or personal sites and you can see here allow user to run custom script on cell service created site now if you'll use this that the according to microsoft it might take 20 up to 24 hours to effect but usually you will get it this option in 3 4 hours also so you have to enable it if it is disabled then you will not see those editor web parts uh, content editor or, or script editor or part on on the pages so once you enable this then uh, anytime you will go here add a web part you will see that now coming back over here uh, so if you will see here this is the content editor web part and it is saying click here to add new content now when you click on this it will actually open a rich text editor you can see here and you can write anything over here for example i will say welcome uh, to content editor web part demo something like that and if you want to format this text you can select this text and then you can format it here for example i want to make it to h h1 tag or you can see here if you will put to uh, put a heading of h2 like this you can do that and also you can see you can change the font text everything so and you can see you can uh, make it bold color so you can use all these things over here so that that's what you can do using this content editor part apart from that if you'll come here there's a edit source button if you will click on that you can also see over here so h1 and then you can see uh, this is the h1 tag that we have selected and you will be able to see these things now if i'll just click on ok and go to the page and stop editing you will see a heading over there and this text is coming from the content editor part now the next thing we will see here is uh, we will see how we can add uh, HTML or JavaScript in the code. Now, if you are new to SharePoint, then you will, you will get you will get to know that there are many scenarios you might want to use HTML and JavaScript. Maybe you are working in JSON or to communicate with your SharePoint sites, or you want to or let's say you want to uh, create a form where you want to insert the item to a SharePoint list. In those scenarios, you can use HTML and the JavaScript or jQuery code or REST API code and those things you can write it here in html but i prefer to use uh, script editor web part or or i will show you another approach where you can actually refer an, est uh, an external file that will be also quite okay but directly putting your script and uh, uh, script code or your html code through this uh, this kind of approach is not good so let me show you that thing first so if you'll see here i'll click on edit source and here we can add our uh, html and javascript code now if I will show you here, this is simply script here, you can see there is some HTML tag and then this is script tag and I have a function which is my function and this is just showing a alert message. And there is an input button and on, on click of this button I am calling this function. So basically the button will appear and when user will click on that it will display this message. Now let me just copy this code and you can see here I will post it here down and i will click on ok now if you will see here i will just save this page and you can see the html tag is coming html control is coming the javascript will not come because we have added inside a script tag so it will think that there is a script so if you will click on that you can see here there is a message it is coming now this is what i was talking about that this is a bad practice we should not put directly our html or, or this kind of code directly over here so instead of that what we can do is we can actually uh, use an external file and we can refer those code over here in this html this content editor web part so now let me go to this uh, source and i will remove everything from here so you can see here now i will just save this now this is a blank page and just a content editor web part is there no content is there so now we will see how we can use these things or how we can use this HTML or JavaScript through a file and that will we'll, uh, refer it here in this page. So before going to that one, uh, you can see here I have a SharePoint development training course. If you are interested to learn SharePoint, then I'll put the link in the video description. You can have a look at this. There are uh, 23 modules are there, say more than 60 hours of uh, video course and you can access this for lifetime. So you can see and uh, you can visit this page, you can see each module wise uh, the content everything is there on this. So I'll put this, you can have a look at this. 
so now coming back to our uh, page so now what we will do here is um, I have this code so first of all let's understand how it is how it will work so there are two things on this one thing is we have uh, a javascript code and the other one is we have an html code so what we'll do first is we'll create a js file that will contain the javascript code so if you'll see here now this is our uh, uh, this will be our javascript code so for that what i will do is i will create a .js file so when we will actually create a .js file you don't need to put the script tag we can directly write our function so i will just copy here this function and i will open a notepad file you can see here this is a notepad file i'll cop i'll paste this code now this is our javascript function i will save this so i'll click on save as and here i will select all files and uh, then i'll put the name so if i will see here i will say um hello world and I will put .js. Now this will be a hello world.js file. I'll save this. So now we will be having a uh, hello world.js file. Next, what we will do is we will be having the HTML file. If you'll come back here, you can see here this is the HTML file. Now before uh, creating the HTML file, we have to remember that we need to refer this script file or the JS file that we have added. Now I have created the JS file. Now I can go to a uh, SharePoint site asset library. So let me go to the site content page. So you can see here and here I will go to the site asset library and I will upload that JS file. So I will click on upload files and then I will select the JS file here. So I'll come back to um, the desktop. I have the JS file you can see here here is the hello world.js file so i'll open it so you can see here now hello world.js file has been added and the url is you can see here site asset library and then hello world.js so i will just modify over here so the js file is hello world dot js file you can see here now this is going to be our html file this is a simple html file where there is a head there is a body and then the, the body contents our button now the button you can see here there is an input type button value submit and on click we are calling this function so what is the javascript function that we are calling here and that function is there in our dot js file and that file we have referred here so this is how we can use now if i'll give you another example let us say you want to create a form where you want to insert item to sharepoint list then your javascript code will be there in this js file and you will refer like this and then you can have an html file which will be having all your controls and then that will be there on the html file now i will copy this here and again i will uh, i will open a notepad file and then I will save as and this time I will save this as an dot uh, html file so I'll go to the desktop and I will say hello world dot html so you can see here make sure to select all files and then click on save so now uh, this will be our html file file is ready now so I'll upload into the same um, site asset library. So you can see here, this is our HTML file and click on open. So now both the files are there now, our hello world.html and hello world.js. So now what I'll do is, I will open my web part page. I'll click on edit page. And then you can see here, this is our content editor web part. Previously we used to click here and do that. So instead of that, what I'll do is I'll click on this icon and then I'll say edit web part. So when we will do edit web part, then you can see here, there's a option where you can actually put the link here. So it is saying that you put the link here. So let's put the link here. So you can see here site asset and then we have hello world dot HTML, right? So you can click on okay and uh, you can see here anytime you can actually click on the text link and you can see whether the file path it is uh, it is working or not so once you have this click on ok and now we should see the button you can see here i see the button here let me save the page and then you can see click on that and you can see here the message it is coming this is the ideal approach if you have uh, multiple files are there or you are working with 
मे बी थे एच टी एम एल कोड जवा स्क्रिप्ट कोड और जे क्वेरी कोड और यू कैन यूजिंग सी एस एस फाइल सो यू कैन एक्चुअली सेव दो थिंग्स एज एन एक्सटर्नल फाइल एंड देन यू कैन रेफर इट हियर सो वन आई एम सेंग एक्सटर्नल फाइल इज एक्सटर्नल टू द कंटेंट एडिटर वेब पार्ट सो वी आर नॉट एडिंग द कोड डायरेक्टली ऑन द कंटेंट एडिटर वेब पार्ट रैदर वी आर सेविंग वी आर सेविंग इट इन ए साइट आ सेट लाइब्रेरी एंड देन फ्रॉम दे आर वी आर फ्रिंग इट हियर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन यू कैन यूज कंटेंट एडिटर वेब पार्ट इन द प्रोजेक्ट and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure to press the bell icon so that you get, you will get the notification as soon as i upload a new video and weekly i usually try to upload two to three videos so thank you and have a nice day